Okay, okay, okay. It's just the FedEx guy. No, no, no. Stay inside. Up, up, up. It's here. He doesn't feel like 18 pounds. It's here. Live plants. There's no live plants in there. Order the empty one. Unless. Well, I was gonna get the big camera and just open it and later, but since. Is that ice cream? It says live plants on there. There's not supposed to be any live plants. I ordered the empty one. So, uh, just in case there is plants in there, come and open it. It says unplanted, and it says that I used my coupon. If it wasn't for sale, I wouldn't have bought it. There's the screws and the level. How you hang it up. The wraps for the planters. Kind of rush, rush. Wow. Look at that, Mama. Check it out. The back says Gromeo on it. Made in Berkeley, California. Eight pockets for scale. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm excited. Excuse the noises pouring cats and dogs down here. I'm gonna change up this whole section over here because I'm partnering with uh, Soul Tech Lights. They reached out to me and I asked my friend, I was like, are these lights any good? Yeah, they're really good. So I'm gonna get those lights. I'm gonna set it up right there. But today we're gonna talk about the Gromeo. I got all the plants I needed for the East Bridge House in LA. I showed you guys already how big it is. You can see that right here. See, it's some kind of weird material at the bottom. Really thick, look how thick that material is. And then what that does is help wick all the moisture because um, I believe the bottom here holds almost a gallon, half a gallon. I'm not, I forgot what it is. You'll, I'll, I'll put it up right there somewhere. And then it, uh, the water wicks up, watering the plants as needed. So the reason why I named this I Suck at DIY <laughs> Living Wall is because one, I don't have the time nor the tools to build something like Tanner does from Serpa Design. Number two, I kind of suck at it. So I'm gonna be real here. Plus, I cannot make something like this. That looks insanely cool. And uh, it kind of matches the stuff I have in my house, like this table here. I'm gonna go wet this and I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my little camera here and show you the inside. So you can see the water just sitting there right there. Got it completely soaked. So first, get the parlor palm, get it out there. Can someone tell me why black nitrile gloves are so freaking expensive? Now I understand if you're not gonna watch this video because you're like, hell, that thing costs $300. Wait until you get some coupons, like I did. Grab one of these triangles. Now they say to wrap it up like a burrito. I'm gonna give that a shot, okay. I turn on this camera just so you can see. I'm gonna push this up more right here, like that. Get the cocoa core. I'm gonna fold this flap right here. You can see that? Fold that flap so it's nice and even. Fold it like a spring roll. Or a wonton. This is more like a wonton. Wonton fold right here. There you go. Alright, parlor palm going in. Next we'll have the lemon upright philodendron, or the cordatum lemon. Wow, this one is nicely rooted. Check that out. Hi Hazel. She's just watching ever so intently. Put some cocoa onto here. Not too much. To the bend. Second plant. 
This one actually has some variegation too. I'm not sure if all lemon cordatums have it, but you can see there. You can see that one right there. All right, this one's gonna go in the lower right corner. 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 That's a new word. Where I can show off the uh, variegation. Woo! That looks amazing! I should put it like that so you guys can see. I'm gonna take this pot up here. But this is just a regular philodendron um, heart shape or heart shaped philodendron, however you want to call it. I'm going to take it out of its pot here. We're going to have to rip this into two pieces. That's a beautiful plant. Man, I love philodendrons. Maybe because they look a lot like Anubias. If you don't know what Anubias are, they are aquatic plants. But most of you do know what Anubias is because I'm an aquatic channel where I used to be. Okay, I'm going to put that in the middle so it breaks up a little bit of the green. Let me see this side. All right, what's next? I kind of want to do this awesome platycerium right here. Staghorn fern. Platycerium bifurcatum. I'm getting better with plant names, unless I totally butchered that, then I am sorry. Exactly where I'm putting this top right corner. Oh. You guys have uh, followed me for quite a while. I did put maybe two Amazon Sphere videos up. The last time I went to the Amazon Spheres, I had a ton of fun and um, kind of always wanted a living wall since then, you know. Very memorable place, for sure. This plant, which I always have a terrible time pronunciating. Peperomia honorana verde. Now I chose a lot of low light plants, except for the staghorn fern, just because I'm not sure what kind of light I'm gonna get, but if something dies, then I'm gonna probably ask for another Soltec light. Eventually, I will have another video of the review of how this is going, but I'm gonna shoot this, edit it, and release it out on the same day. So today is uh, Saturday, the 18th. Last one going in. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, there's a little blank spot up here. Could put another parlor palm there. Wrap it a little tighter than the rest. I'm not sure how tight you're supposed to wrap these, but. Yeah, look at that. Kind of like a little combo there. There we go. Holy cow. I want to stand for a far. That looks so good. It just needs to fill out. Let's get this little camera showing you guys. Look at that. Wow. Let's get this on the wall. Mr. Inspirator. So this is called the Brio. I kind of featured this in my last video. Put the water in there, it holds 1.5 liters. Give it a few pumps. You can adjust the nozzle here and spray. Pretty cool, right? You can also make it so it's a jet stream, but I'm not gonna use that right now. But yeah, this is a $11, $12, amazing value. All right, let's find a place for you to be on this wall.
resembled the uh, cordatum yellow there. What do you think? Alright, well, that is how you install a Gromeo. It was that simple. It literally took probably 40 minutes just to get all the plants together, put them in there, and then hang it up. Like, wow. And uh, I'll have a review of this sometime in the future. And uh, just stick around.